Hello, everybody. This is, this is take three. This is take three, because we suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lenny, and that's Dr. Trey, and we're going to be doing the song called Hawaiian Eyes, and also doing a ukulele tutorial on what Trey plays on this song. The song you can find on my album called Aina. It's my second solo album. Um, came out a little while ago. March 29th. 2011, March 29th. And I love this song. It was written by John Azario. Uh, he was from the group John and Randy back in the 80s. Oh, how'd they come up with that name, though? <laughs> Randy Borden. Um, God bless his soul. And anyhow, uh, John Azario is a professor over at the UH Manoa, at the Center of Hawaiian Studies at Kamaka Kuo Kalani. And he's written a few books, one of my faves, called Dismembering Lahui. He's a great speaker, he's a great orator. Um, I always enjoyed his lectures. You know, I don't have much of an attention span. That's true. <laughs> but I could stay focused in his class. I was always so like, oh, you know, I want to learn this. I want to know this. And um, he was just great. Hey. Everyone really there, all, all the kumu there are great. If that's the case, then what we should do is we should get... Um, John Azaria to come in. I know. For us. No, we should we should bring him in the studio. He was here before, remember? Yeah, but we yeah. should. You know what, guys? We'll bring him down for the next video. No, no. Why? How are we gonna just? Oh yeah, can you come down and like well, just? Well, we'll ask him. We'll ask him. Can you come? Yeah, but we can't give those kind of guarantees. We'll ask him, and then we'll have him play, and then we'll have you play with him next time. Hopefully, if he says yes. By the way, don't worry, folks. My lady has a gig with the gypsies after this. <laughs> <laughs> the Noah Noah gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's got that. She's sporting that. that. Um, but anyhow, uh, yeah, I've always loved this song. Always. It's a great song. Um, I always admire really good and strong songwriters. And I always try to be a good and strong songwriter. So um, I just wanted to keep this song alive 30 years later. Because the song came out in the 80s. So, wait a minute, this song is came out w when you were born? Yep, that's right, baby. I'm 30. Not and I'm not longer. that flirty. <laughs> Anyhow, um. She's gonna be 31 and she'll be the shut flirty, up. flirty one. <laughs> but we're gonna be doing this song and then Trey's gonna do his ukulele tutorial. If you guys don't know, Dr. Trey here did teach the Jake Shimabukuro. So I consider Trey the Ip Man of ukulele. Cool movie. If you guys don't know Ip Man, we're going to also support and, that and promote and that movie. You don't know Ip Man. <laughs> Man, I'm taking too long. But Ip Man, the first two movies are really good. The third one, nah, not so much. But it's a good movie. Wait, they are the third one already? I still never heard of it. Yeah, the third one, though, it doesn't make sense. It's like just to have another movie, you know. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Trey had to take his drop off, so now he can play better. Yeah. So we won't suck on this one. Ready? Kahi elua ekolu.
So anyhow, <clears throat> let's go over the tutorial real fast. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Um, do we make sure that you can see, uh, people can see you? No, you want to go look? Yeah. Oh, yes. Just move closer to me. You want to switch chairs? Okay. Here we go. Everybody get ready. So this is what you will find on... Oh, sorry. Black in my face. Oh, I'm sorry. This... <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Here, 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 here. Miss Gypsy Queen. You will find that piece of paper online. We don't know where we're going to post it yet, but it'll be in the show notes on the bottom of this thing over here. So, um, and you know what, you folks? We're really getting tired of not getting any ratings on my Lenny's videos. Or any extra hits. So if you like it, then can you, like, just tell your friends? Yeah. Check to, it out. Especially it. the people who want to learn how to play ukulele. Or... And if you want to be on the street team, by the way, um, please get in touch with us somehow and let us know yeah. because we're, we're going to... We need evangelists. Anyway, so this little piece of music here is going to show you how to play. It's written in both tablature and notation. So I'm going to take you guys through this step by step, just a little bit. The first thing you're going to do is we're going to do a gliss, and this gliss comes in on beat number two. So that gliss is just going to slide from the F to the A like this. So that's from the first fret. If you don't know how to read tablature, we're, we're going to have to talk about that later. Go from the 1st fret to the 5th fret, and you're going to form an F chord here, which is going to be an F add 9. So it's kind of a nice chord already. And if you notice, sometimes when I play with my Lenny, I won't play a full F chord. I won't do this. I'll keep the 9 open. Because it has this, that little 9 in there. It gives it like a nice kind of sound. Yeah? So, right here, you've already got the chord. And then you're just going to walk down the scale. Now, notice that I didn't play all of the open strings, which I consider to be more of a rhythmic finger-picking style. So when you add those open strings in there, this is what happens. Right? See that? The top string, the G, is where I'm adding, that's coming from. That, again, is a 9 that we're adding to this. And it's the key of F. This is a 9. It gives it that kind of, like, really moody kind of flavor. That's all, as simple as that. So it's a scale down. Oops. Like that. Now, there's one fancy thing in here, and that is going to be the little pull-off that we do in... You know, maybe you should show that again, because I am confused. Oh, all right. Just one more time before we move on. Okay, so just one more time for those of you that are not as bright as the rest of the people, kind of like my Lenny. I think she's got her scarf tied on way too tight. La la la. Come on. But this is really, it's not, it's really not that complicated. We're going to start with the A string. We're going to go fret 1 to fret 5. And then we're going to go fret 7 or fret 8, sorry, on the A string here. Right? Then you pick the G string for the rhythm. And then pick it again, the G string for the rhythm. Pick the G string for the rhythm. So it's... Yeah? Now we're going to do something that's known as a pull-off. <clears throat> a pull-off means that you're going to play the note, you're going to play a note without articulating it. So in other words, this is a pull-off. If I, You see my index finger here in fret number one, this is a pull-off. You notice that I didn't use this hand. My lady, can you hold on to this hand? Just, um, this he just is, wants to hold my hand. Watch this. See? There's no like fancy camera work going on here. This is real. <laughs> Anyway, so, right, so this is all we're doing. We're pulling off, we're picking the note, then we're pulling it off. And that's all it is. Hawaiian Eye is the, the lick, which actually started off as kind of, um, I wanted it to sound like the flute part, how I remember it in my head, you know, because as she said, you know, John Ozar is such a great songwriter and everything. He is. So, yeah. Um, but I couldn't remember how the flute part went. So I kind of made this up in my mind, and this is what I came up with. And then, when I listened to it later on, I realized that it kind of sounded like one of my Lenny songs, Over. Really? How's was Over going? Uh, is that an F? Over. Yeah. What, how does the break go? From that? What? Is it right after the chord? What you see on the scene? 
Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe not. I believe John Yamasato did the lick. That's Something like this. I forget. <laughs> oh, something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, there you go. That's it. And just to let you guys know, especially if you're learning, um, what Trey's teaching you right now, the skill of playing an F, you can use this for pretty much any song that is played in the key of F. So That's actually true. Yeah. Um, because in the key of F, you have a B flat, and there is a B flat in here. And we're really just going off on a tangent right now. But um, if you want to get into scales and stuff like that, we'll do that later on, yeah, in some videos. Yeah. Yeah, some scales and some modes. Um, and things like that and we'll talk about how they work and how you make them work in a song and if you guys like these types of tutorials uh, you can always email us at uh, what drtray.com tray at drtray.com yeah email me at drtray.com tray at drtray.com <laughs> and just let us know if you like this stuff or not or you can Facebook us Tracy Tarada my Lenny McKay Trey, Trey Tarada <laughs> Trey Tarada my Lenny McKay yeah or Twitter us. I'm at my Lenny. He's at Doc Trey. Oh, she got one right. <laughs> this thing is starting to breathe for her. All right. So anyway, my Lenny's going to be performing with the Gypsy Queens. Make sure you guys check that one out. Trey's going to be doing Taiko Jump soon. Make sure you check that <laughs> so out. What is that? Boom, 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 boom. Hey, can I have some a spam with me too? Yeah. All right. We're done. Okay. Peace.